Hey guys, it's your girl Karen. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Hello everyone. This is going to be your timeless 72 hour love reading. This is going to be a reading for my water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and love. So yes, this reading will not resonate with all my water signs. Please let me know in the comments the updates after 72 hours for those of you who this reading resonated with. So I want to start with say welcome to my channel, Goddess of Whispers. It's your girl Karen and I'm excited to welcome my water signs back to my channel. I do want to let you know this is a general love reading. It will not resonate with everyone. So take what does and leave the rest. If it does not resonate, please check with your sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Also, the roles in this reading may be reversed, so apply yourself as you see fit. So yeah, this is going to be your um, next 72 hours in love. So let's jump in. We are going to get what the energy is here for my water signs. What is the energy here for my water signs? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio for the next 30, I'm sorry, 72 hours, Spirit, 72 hours. What is the energy here? What is it that my water signs need to know? What is the love messages that my water signs need to know, Spirit? Guide me in delivering a pure and clean message for my water signs. What is it that they need to know? Yes. What is it that they need to know? Thank you. All right, guys. So for your first message, we have chemistry. We have reconciliation. And we have this could be the one. All right, so this is very good love messages to start off your reading, guys. So I am going to look into, you know, what this person's going to feel about you, what you're going to feel about um, this person, and the mutual energies between the both of you. So this is looking really good to start off, guys. So we got some strong chemistry coming in. It could be someone you're already dealing with, or it could be a new person coming in your way. Um, for some of you, this is reconciliation. It's someone from your past is returning to your life, okay? So yeah, so there's some history here. And it's letting you know, for some of you, if it's not a new connection, it's that this could be the one if someone's coming in here in the next 72 hours, okay? So we're going to gather and get um, this person's energy towards you. What is their energy towards you? over the next 72 hours. Spirit, what are the messages here? What is it that my water signs need to know within the next 72 hours? And guys, this is a timeless love message. So should you watch this video today, tomorrow, a year from now, it's the message you are meant to hear. We have six of cups. That is beautiful. So this person, this is representing your person's energy right off the bat. So someone here is reminiscent on the past and is wanting to rekindle this flame. We have the justice card. So someone's coming back to speak their truth. Possibly we have the knight of wands. So communication, someone who is determined, someone who is feisty. And we have five of cups. So, you know, someone here could have dealt with their own karma or karmic here, you know, and there's been some heartbreak here in this connection. But let's dive in. Let's dive a little bit deeper. What's going on with you? We have the Page of Swords. So, you know, you to yourself, I feel like, you know, is reminiscent on this person. For some of you, you are spying on this person. You know, I feel like some of you are living your life, you know, going along in your life. But, you know, you are in your head very deeply about this person or this connection. Ooh, next we have the eight of pentacles didn't i just say that for some of you you you're focused on yourselves you know we have the eight of pentacles here so this is someone who's focused on themselves focused on their coin you know manifesting their dreams you know what they're wanting out of life but this could also be you wanting to work things out we have the ten of swords so we had a painful ending here you know this could be a painful ending between you and this person you know, um, you had to turn your back on the situation. That's probably why we have the Five of Cups over here. We have the Knight of Swords. 
but a big deep part of you wants to move forward a big part of you wants to you know run back to this connection because it wasn't easy there was a lot of chemistry here a lot of passion you know you both feel like you guys belong together in the middle we have reconciliation and then we have the six of cups here letting me know this was a very strong and deep connection between the two of you what's the mutual energy here the lovers oh preach preach the lovers is all about offer of true love coming in a deeper commitment a love decision needs to be made kindred spirits perfect unions you know meeting a new partner this is this is a true love story here from my water signs pisces cancer scorpio one more yep nine of cups speaks of abundance this is the um universe gifting you guys um all of your heart's desires you cannot make this stuff up guys so this is a beautiful reading for you guys over the next um, 72 hours. Someone's wanting to come back in. We have the Six of Cups here. The Six of Cups is all about reconciliation. And what do we have here in the love message? Reconciliation. This is all about, you know, somebody wanting to rekindle a flame. It could also mean friendships, gifts, innocence, nostalgia. You know, so someone's wanting to come in. Someone's reminiscent on the past. You know, we also have the justice card here. So someone's needing to make a decision. Someone's coming back to speak their truth. I feel like someone had karmic justice here in this situation. But this is also someone's wanting their emotional needs to be met. Someone needs to bring balance back to the situation, but it also means a positive outcome. You know, we have the Knight of Wands here. The Knight of Wands is a very, you know, lusty, free-spirited, a very passionate um, person. But this person's coming in, you know, to let you know that they want to work something out. This person's excited, very, very excited, filled with joy. They they want to go on the highest mountain and scream it from the top of the mountain that they want your love back, you know. However, this person is a little bit hesitant, a little bit because they are in their heads because of something that has transpired in this connection. This connection drained them mentally physically and emotionally this person is so regretful as to whatever has transpired between you two this is your partner's energy you know this person wants another beginning this person is dealing with grief loss depression you know this person can't think about anyone else but you even when new opportunities is coming their way you know they can't they can't forget this connection then we have, for you guys, we have the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords is all about, you know, um, a restless type of energy. You know, someone who is a messenger, someone who wants to relay some type of message. Message. This is a very intelligent person too, very skillful mindset person in that way, you know. But I think this represents, this person is like overthinking things. And because they're overthinking the situation, it's almost like you're... Um, very analytic when it comes to things. You have to know. You know. This person. This is representing yourself. You know. Th this is representing you wanting to know every detail. When it comes to this person. But I feel like. Like I said. You know. This is also representing you. Working on yourself. Even though in the back of your mind. This person. Is on your mind as well. You know, but this is you working on yourself, taking time. I think that you guys have been apart for a little, uh, quite some time. You know, we got the eight moons here. So you've been apart for quite some time. It's You guys have been separated or, um, you know, took some time away from each other. Maybe even someone, some of you ghosted each other or blocked each other. But there has been no communication. You know, but you've been solely focused on yourself. And everything, everything that makes you happy. And I feel like you've come to this point where you've put yourself in a situation, you know, where you are abundantly happy materialistically, you know, or you are abundantly happy emotionally. But I feel like you've worked on yourself enough to the point that now you feel like something's missing. You see, this person has this little candle, this flame. You know, 
You're at peace, but you're reminiscing. That flame reminds you of the passion you had with this person because there was so much chemistry. That's why we have the chemistry card here. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. You guys are pulling each other um, um, back to each other. You're gravitating to one, one another. You know, we have the Ten of Swords here because this was a, a energy of where you had to release the situation, even when you didn't want to. It was hard. It was painful. You know, this had to come to an end because you could not move forward for whatever the reason is. You know, we're not going to clarify everything, but, you know, we're just getting the, touching the surface. You know, this is letting me know that this was a very, very tough situation. This was a very, very tough decision you had to make. You had to turn your back. You know? But you didn't want to. We have the Knight of Swords energy. This is you wanting to run back. You're wanting to, to go back to this connection as much as you had to walk away like i said at the back of your mind you can't you can't hide the fact any longer that you miss this person you know you both went your separate ways but i feel like deep down inside you both were hurting on the inside because you know what this connection meant to each other you know this was not an easy decision for you to make. And you're wanting to regain this connection back. Hence why for the mutual energy, we have the lovers. The lovers is all about offering love, true love, deeper commitment. You know, this is, is, this is a love like no other. It's very passionate, very sensual. It's sexy. It is abundance it's a perfect kindred union this is a soulmate twin flame type of energy a very passionate romance that you guys had together and you both are wishing for this to come to part this is the mutual energy you both are wishing this into existence and this is the divine telling you that they are going to grant you your wish i think soulmates you know not every soulmate will end up together in this lifetime but i think soulmates will true soulmates you know with soul contracts will always find each other whether it's this time or the next no matter how much you try to avoid the situation you can't because you guys are tied together by this contract. Yes, yeah, so I'm seeing here, guys, you know, this is beautiful. You know, the spirits are saying this could be the one. You have already met the romantic partner you seek. Someone from your past is returning to your life. We have reconciliation. We have reconciliation here. All right, guys, let's get some um, messages to close out. Let's see what we got. What is the message here to close out? Ooh, I can't even shuffle. <laughs> so many messages want to pop out. All right, let's cut the deck. See what the messages is here for my water signs to close out. Oh, we got we got cards flipping out, so I'm gonna take them. We got cards flipping out. All right, so we have here, which is so funny. We have the Eight of Pentacles, which is dedicated effort. Because you both want to put in the work. You both want to work on this situation. You both want to come, come together and figure this out. You know, you both feel like it's worth it. You know, so this is spirit letting you know that they are putting you back together because it will work out. They're going to grant you abundance. They are going to grant you abundance in this situation. This is a this is a very kindred situation. You know, we also have um, at the bottom of the deck, 
We have balance. This is divine telling you that balance is going to be restored back into this connection. Okay? Balance will be restored. You know, balance is the temperance card here. So things will be brought back to moderation. If there was an imbalance before, there will be no more imbalance in this situation. No one's perfect. Everyone's going to make mistakes. But I feel like in this situation here, you know, this is the divine bringing you back together. You know, this person has served their karmic, karmic lesson. You know, we also have seek. Seek represents the hermit card here. So I felt like you guys took some time away from the situation. You took a break from the situation. Someone sought out, you know, um, inner peace. Someone did some soul searching. But in the midst of soul searching, what they realized was how happy this connection made them. You know, someone took time away from this. And when they took the time away, you know, this was the result. You know, this was how your partner's feeling. And this is how you were feeling. It wasn't easy, you know, but yeah, and, and look out for this in the next 72 hours if it hasn't happened already. For some of you, this is, for some of you, this has took place already, but for some of you, my water signs, you know, someone from your past is coming back in. Okay. All right, I hope this resonated with you. I hope you like this timeless message uh, from the divine, from my water signs. All righty, leave a comment down below. I'm so excited for you guys. This looks very, very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. All right, guys, till next time. Bye.